Hey guys, Tanner here. This video is set to be a controversial one, or at least controversial for my channel, but I suggest you hear me out before you dislike and click off. I know some of you do this. Anyway, just jumping right into things, the Sons of Garmadon 2018 Ninjago sets have already been officially revealed, and I have already done a video on them, and this is mainly why this video here exists. I've noticed a few borderline sketchy comments on my analysis video of the sets, and I want to go ahead and start to address these comments the best I can. I do believe it's necessary to make multiple videos covering some of the Season 8 concerns, due to the release date of both the sets and the season being relatively close, and this is where the fun actually begins. The main topic I want to cover in this video is related to this comment here. Fantastic. Okay, first of all, I never said that the sets were bad. A little underwhelming, sure, but downright terrible? No, not at all. Of course, you are entitled to your own opinion, as am I, but my stance on the wave is that overall, it's fine for what it is. So now we have addressed that one part of the comment, so let's go over the other part. Yes, out of the entirety of the Sons of Gramadon wave, I will not be buying much. However, I am purchasing one set, so this comment is wrong. The one set that I am buying for my own collection is the big one of the wave, the Temple of Resurrection, which really does look good to me. Now, I did point out the flaws in the other sets and just why I will not be buying them, but I am not passing on the sets because I hate season 8 or I think the movie designs are ruining the franchise or anything like that. Both of those statements are false as well. I'm passing on these sets for a few other reasons. The first being the fact that yeah, this wave isn't Ninjago's best, but it's still manageable. I however want to spend my money elsewhere this time around. The way that my Lego purchases work is that I have a select amount of money pushed off to the side for Lego sets. I try to schedule it out for every release wave, so roughly twice a year. When the set images do come out, I study them carefully to determine which sets I really want to pick up. I mainly strive for sets which have a large selection of decent and collectible minifigures and a decent build. If the build can stand on its own, it's likely I will acquire that set. This standard that I've set for myself is something that is more recent for me, and my past LEGO purchases don't really support this very well, but people can change. Another reason my LEGO budget isn't strictly going to Ninjago 2018 sets this time around isn't because of another theme or that I'm giving up a Ninjago or anything like that. It's because of a different project that I'm currently in the process of organizing. I've mentioned this on live streams in the past, but my goal is to eventually form a collection of Ninjago minifigures, featuring every canonical version of each ninja, and other important characters. I'm planning on acquiring a giant display case to hold this collection, and I'm really looking forward to getting things rolling again for this idea. The part of my budget that isn't going towards the Temple of Resurrection, I will be using to purchase separate minifigures off of Bricklink from sets that I've missed in the past. I will also be picking up the Ninjago 2018 ninja figures that don't come in the Temple of Resurrection set. Overall, the reason I'm not buying more of the Sons of Gramadon wave is not because I think the sets are bad, it's because I have alternative motives including a brand new and expensive project, and new ideals that I do wish to live by at this point moving forward. In the end, I hope you guys can further understand my reasoning as to why I'm not purchasing more Sons of Gramadon sets, and I hope all the hatred around Season 8 can die down a little. We'll get more into that in the next video because there really is a lot that I have to say about it, but this is where we are going to end off for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up rating, and as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to leave a comment stating what you thought of the video itself or the subject matter, or if you just said a general comment, that's fine too. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again. My name is Dan Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.